Hey, it's your boy Frisky Rubble here, back at you with another video regarding these two keypads. On my left, we got the Razer Tartars V2, and on my right, we got the Hori Tac Pro. I wanted to make this video because I didn't see a lot of comparisons between the two keypads, and I think the reason came down to the fact that the Razer Tartars V2 is something that is specifically geared more towards PC players, whereas the Hori Tac Pro has a balance of being marketed towards PlayStation 3 or 4 players as well as PC players, which may or may not be a good thing, but I'll get into it in this video. Okay, let's get into the similarities of these keypads. Both are marketed towards a large demographic. This one is marketed towards PC players and this one has the option of working with PC players as well as console users particularly the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 they both have analog type uh, options here this one is a four or eight way directional pad that clicks and this one is a true analog input it's awesome because in any sort of game whether it be third or first person shooter this will essentially mimic WASD, which is nice, and it operates as a single input when it comes to you know doing any sort of customization in the software. Palm rests are adjustable, where you have to pop this one off in order to change it. As you can see, you have four little uh, things here, and you can just sort of put it higher, closer, or farther, depending on what your preference is. Uh, my palm, I tend to be a palm user for most things, so. I tend to like it on the farthest one possible. This one, all you've got to do is just press in this button at the side here, and you can get it to close or open. And it's not much of a movement, but it's enough to make a difference. Um, so I put it on the farthest setting, and I gotta say, apart from the larger, you know, real estate that this one takes, I did not think that I was gonna find this one more comfortable, and I do. This pad is more ergonomic as I get it to sit there in the. Uh, keypad there this one I find is much more ergonomic in the hand it's much more comfortable this I really wanted it to be but it's not I think the one thing that this really makes feel more comfortable is having the analog stick flat on the side here compared to this which is on an angle but the more that I play with this the more that I'm um, comfortable using it this way now if I were to use this as movement I could still do it I would prefer having the analog stick to be honest but as a whole in an overall package in regarding ergonomics this feels way way better um, I think though that's where the similarities end when it comes to these two um, the differences are a lot more than people realize there's obvious things like the analog uh, input but the software a lot of people like to crap on Razer software and for good reason. There's a lot of issues that are legitimate that people have expressed themselves deeply about on forums and such. But when I've tried both of these softwares out, the Razer is way better than this when it comes to software. I just found issues here and there when it came to trying to get certain inputs in and having things just save or, or even load properly. I have not once had a single issue with the Razer Synapse program that this Razer Tartars V2 has. Not a single one. And that says something. Maybe Razer's stepping up their game. And I haven't really been a fan throughout the years of using Razer products, but my exposure to this and using it for the time that I have, honestly, has really changed my mind. The black and green is starting to grow on me. And I never thought that I would say that. The Hori Tac Pro has lights up red i haven't bothered to plug it in because i am going to be returning this honestly for how disappointed i am on the product um for this on the other hand um i'm keeping i didn't think that i was going to keep it but i took off my for sale ads and i am keeping this it's more comfortable you have the rgb for those that care and it just has more options this analog being a single input initially i thought that was a good thing until i tried to customize it to sort of have this work as wasd and then have this as uh inputs and it's not happening. You can't have left, right, up, or down uh, do anything apart from move your character. And that, I think, is a huge problem because with this, I can customize this eight-way directional pad to mimic a joystick, and it does it just fine. It does it just fine. This, um, I can have as any sort of inputs that I want, so I can move with this and then have these as commands like if I'm playing an MMO or something and I could even switch it around so I can move with this like a traditional WASD and I can have this as commands up down left right any diagonal that I want including this button and this space bar this does not have a space bar it has this button on the side here which the Razer already has and because this is an input and you can't switch it around you lose a bit of that customizability that you would have with the Razer Tartarus 
Um, beyond that, I will give an approval to Hori's keypad in the sense that these are mechanical keys. I believe that they are Cherry MX Red because they feel very linear and they are mechanical. This one is a mecha membrane. So it bottoms out the way that a, me a membrane keypad or key does. Um, but you do get the mechanical click, as you can hear, that the, similar to Cherry MX Blues. So it's the best of both worlds. And for the price, which this basically sits at $90 Canadian, you cannot go wrong. I got this from eBay as a standalone for over $100. Yet with the mouse, it's closer to $200. And I still don't think that it's worth the price. The customization is less than it is on this. The software is better on this than it is on this. The ergonomic palm rest is better on this than it is on this you have rgb lighting on this whereas you don't on this this has some keys that are unique to razor this uses cherry mx reds which obviously do feel better and while it's nice to have the analog you honestly don't need it when you have this this thing works and it works well you can take this off if you want to mimic a d-pad this little circular area here or you can keep it on like i do and use it the way that it is Apart from the real estate that where this takes up more, I gotta say, I am so happy with my Razer purchase. This is not a video that's sponsored and I hope that should Razer or anybody else see this, that they maybe inquire about sponsoring me because I'm liking what they're doing with their peripherals and I'm hearing good things about your keyboards as well as this keypad that it, that had come out. And I personally as a gamer value heavily ergonomics when it comes to my gaming setup. I gotta say for anybody deciding between these two, don't waste your money. I think Hori made a good product here. I'm just disappointed because of the fact that it's sort of a jack of all trades, master of none situation. They have made this work on more than one platform, which gives it that versatility that this would not have. But in each platform that it works in, it also compromises in a way. And I think that's the biggest drawback. It's that you're simply not going to get as much customization for this as you would this. This feels better. It looks better. It performs better in software. And it performs better, you know, through feel. But the only, really advan the only real advantages that this has is the fact that these keys are mechanical and that this is a true analog. Even then, it's a bit of a toss-up because depending on the game, this might not even input as an analog. It'll input as WASD. So you don't get that walking sensation that you would when you just tilt the joystick ever so slightly. Whereas this, it's immediate. Whether you're using this as a first or third person shooter, or you're, using, or you're using it in a game like Monster Hunter World when you want to cycle through your different ammo or whatever it is, this just works, and it works well. Razer, I gotta say, of all my years, which has been eight or nine so far of PC gaming, I never thought that I'd be a fan of your products, but your Razer Tardis V2 actually changed my mind. Hori, I think you guys did a decent job, but all in all, I wish that there was something that you guys made that could somehow compete with this. For price, customizability, and just overall value, Razer wins. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking part. If you have any comments or suggestions on how I can make these videos a bit better, be sure to let me know. I'm using my phone right now for uh, recording, but that's all I got. But if you liked this video, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and gals in the next one. Stay frisky.